welcome dear student today we will continue with the lesson human body and organ system and this is a part 2 video of this lesson and in this video we have to learn about the respiratory system their structure and function of respiratory system so let's begin so before starting the today's topic let's have a quick recap of our previous video so first we have seen the organ system so what is organ system group of organs working together to perform a specific function is called as organ system then we have seen the steps of three steps of respiration so first was external respiration so in external respiration we have the inspiration and expiration together it is called as a external respiration now in internal respiration uh, the exchange of gases takes place between the cells and tissue fluid so this is internal respiration now third step is a cellular respiration in which dissolved nutrients like glucose are slowly oxidized with the help of oxygen and energy is produces during the cellular respiration and also carbon dioxide and water vapors are releases out from by this at this process now here few questions are there which organs are present in the respiratory system so this is our respiratory system and different organs like nasal cavity pharynx larynx and lungs major part of the respiratory system is the lungs So in today's video we will learn about all these organs related to the respiratory system. Now next we have is why should not talk while eating? Why is it so? So we should not talk because when we talk the wind pipe we have a wind pipe right? So that wind pipe opens and when we are eating and talking together the food can stuck in that wind pipe. so which can block the passage for air to go in and come out so that's why while eating we should not talk this will be dangerous for us now we will learn about the respiratory system and structure structure and function of the respiratory organs so let's begin this is our respiratory system now the first organ for the respiratory system is a nose here you can see in the picture also so the respiratory system and respiration begins with the nose that means with the help of a nose only we take in or we breathe in oxygen and breathe out carbon dioxide so air is filtered with the help of hair and mucus which is present in the nose so due to this air is getting filtered Now next part is a pharynx. Now alongside picture you can see the pharynx. This is just below the nasal cavity. Now foot pipe and wind pipe originate in the pharynx. Now foot pipe you, here in the left hand side picture you can see the wind pipe which is also called as a trachea and the esophagus. which is our foot pipe so foot trachea no, foot pipe and wind pipe are two different pipes okay so the foot pipe and wind pipe originate in the pharynx only and wind pipe is present in the front of the foot pipe you can see the wind pipe present in the front of the foot pipe there is a lid at the beginning of wind pipe wind pipe okay so this is a lid you can see a white colored structure lid is there so there is a lid at the beginning of wind pipe and this lid closes the wind pipe during passing of food and this lid is known as a epiglottis okay so this is a lid which uh, different uh, which differentiate the wind pipe and food pipe from each other so this lid or the epiglottis um, closes the wind pipe during passing of food into the food pipe and thereby normally prevents the entry of food particles into the wind pipe so this is a main function of the epiglottis to open and closes the wind pipe and otherwise the wind pipe remains open hence air passes through pharynx into wind pipe so next is a 
larynx now student what is the larynx you can see in the picture below the pharynx you can see the um, purple colored uh, um, box type structure okay so this is a larynx now it is a passage way for air between the pharynx above and the trachea below the larynx are also called as a voice box a it is a hollow tubular like structure which is connected to the top of the windpipe that is a trachea you can see the below the larynx trachea is there so air passes through the larynx into on its way to the lungs that means from nasal cavity pharynx and larynx air passes into the lungs through the tracheas okay so this was the now next we have is our windpipe this is the next organ of the respiratory system now windpipe is a swollen at the beginning due to the sound box sound box means these are the larynx and windpipe also known as a trachea this is the other name of the windpipe so windpipe is a swollen you can see the windpipe okay windpipe is a swollen at the beginning due to the sign sound box and windpipe bifurcates in the thorax here you can see the thorax that means the region in which the Uh, respiratory organs are present so this is known as a thoracic cavity or thorax so the windpipe bifurcates into thorax that means bifurcates means it is divided into the branches you can see the main red colored trachea is divided into the lungs okay so these are the bronchi and one branch enter into the right uh, right lung and other branch enter into the left lung you can clearly see in the picture the trachea is getting divided into two branches and first branches is uh, there in uh, right lungs and next branches there in the left lung and these branches are called as a bronchi now the next is bronchioles so a bronchus or bron bronchi this is a singular term is a passage of airway in the respiratory tract you can see the bronchioles okay small small branches which are present in the lungs so no, these are present in the lungs okay that means the trachea which is divided into the lungs it is this is known as a bronchioles so these are the airway in the respiratory tract that conducts the air into the lungs that means they carry the air in the lungs and the bronchus or branches into the smaller tube tubes like bronchioles that means the main branches are the bronchi and the small small further branches or little branches are called as a bronchioles that means they carries the lung they carry the air into the lungs now next part is the main part of the respiratory system that is a uh, lungs now a lung is present on either side of the heart in thoracic cavity here you can see the thoracic cavity that means the cavity in which the full respiratory organ or respiratory parts are present now maximum area of the thoracic cavity is occupied by the lungs you can see lungs are the major organs of the respiratory system occupied by the lungs and they cover the maximum part of the heart and each lung has a double layer so the double layer is called as a pleura you can see in the left hand side picture left side picture that is a pleural space or the outer covering of the lungs is called as a pleura that is a pleural space so lungs are elastic and like a sponge lungs are made up of many small compartments called as alveoli so you can see the picture alveoli so lungs are divided into sorry lungs are made up of many small compartments that are called as the alveoli which are rich network of capillaries in present around each alveolus okay capillary means the small blood vessel which carry the bloods now alveoli are the tiny air sac you can see these are the tiny air sac that are Uh, at the end of the bronchioles okay uh, where the where the exchange of gases like oxygen and carbon dioxide takes place you can see the right hand side picture the exchange of gases okay takes place that means um, carbon dioxide and 
oxygen getting exchange between the blood and this alveolus now we will see the exchange of gases which are takes place in the lungs now gases exchange occurs continuously while blood is circulating around the alveoli an iron containing protein that is a hemoglobin is present in the rbcs you can see the picture also the, the hemoglobin which is con, which is present in the rbcs or the blood so hemoglobin absorbs the oxygen that means see you can see the oxygen is getting absorbed into the red blood cells rbcs okay so that is absorbed by the hemoglobin Uh, absorbs the oxygen from air within the alveoli and simultaneously you can see the carbon dioxide and water vapors move from blood you can see the capillary in which blue red purple um, cells are cells like structures are there so oxygen is getting absorbed in the capillary or by the rbcs and carbon dioxide is moving away from the capillary into the alveoli are removed from the blood and given out by exhalation that means from our nose it is given out so this was the exchange of gases in alveoli the next part as we have is diaphragm and this is the last or um, bottom part of the respiratory system you can see the uh, circular shape present below the lungs this is a diaphragm now a muscular partition is present at the base of thoracic cage and this partition is called as a diaphragm it is present between the thoracic cavity and abdo abdominal cavity that means below the res below the thoracic cavity the abdominal cavity is there and which is which is separated so um, thoracic cavity and abdominal cavity are separated by this diaphragm now sim uh, simultaneous rising up of ribs and lower of this simultaneous rising up of ribs and lowering of diaphragm causes the decrease in pressure on lungs you can see when uh, in inhalation diaphragm when we take in um, the air from our nose nose so diaphragm moves in downward direction but in the exhalation that means when we breathe out so the diaphragm moves back towards its original position so due to this air moves into the lungs through the nose and when ribs return to the return to their original position and diaphragm rises up you can see in the picture right pressure on the lungs will increases and due to this air moves out from it through the nose that means inhalation and exhalation process in inhalation diaphragm moves down and in exhalation diaphragm moves back to its original position and continuous upward and downward movement of diaphragm is necessary to bring about the breathing that means inhalation and exhalation so student this was all about the respiratory system we have seen the different organs which are which helps in the respiration that means breathing in air and breathing in carbon dioxide sorry breathing in oxygen and removing of exhaling of carbon dioxide so this was this was all about the respiratory system i hope you all have understood and next part of this lesson we are continue in our next lesson thank you